Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces past, and I'm match bound. What's up, peoples? It's Gendo here, and welcome back to another special match day vlog. This time it is the MLS All Star game emanating to you live from downtown Chicago. I'm currently making my way past Grand Park, going southbound towards Soldier Field, where the MLS All Star is going to be taking on Real Madrid in one of Real Madrid's final preseason matches. Now the one main thing about this preseason game is that, looking at the team sheets, there is no Ronaldo for Real Madrid, and that's a bit of an oddity. I don't know if he is injured or whatnot, but he's just not showing up on the team sheets. So you're going to see a lot of Benzema, you're going to see a lot of Bale, Isco. We don't know exactly how Real Madrid are going to line up, but it'll be very interesting to see how they get on without Ronaldo, of course. But even though, with Ronaldo out, we should see a very complete Real Madrid side against a group of MLSers that have just been cobbled together for the last two, three days. I think score prediction is going to be MLS All-Stars 1, Real Madrid 3. Real Madrid just seemed to have the better side. I mean, they're going, it's the European champions, for God's sake. Of course they're going to have the best side. And I just want to see how Bastion and Nico and... Johan Kapilov do for the fire and hopefully they don't get injured because we got a game this weekend. Need them fully fit. walking under the old part of the stadium. This stadium was originally built in 1926, but then the Bears decided to renovate it, put a stadium inside the old outer walls, which are still and standing, as you just saw. But the newer stadium fit inside of the old outer walls, and that was built in 2003. Yeah, it looks like Alexi Lalas and Taylor Twelman down there calling the game on Fox. And here are my seats. Actually, not bad whatsoever. 200 level behind the goal. I'm actually one section up from when I was at the Copa America last year, so not bad whatsoever. minutes 15 minutes till kickoff and it's starting to drizzle starting to lightly rain let's hope it holds out for this night minutes I don't want another two-hour rain delay like last year the Copa del Rey or sorry the Copa America this sucks 10 minutes to kick off and now it starts to come down what a day Oh, this is just the worst. I'm gonna try and get as much filling as I possibly can, but as the fireworks sulfur is coming down, the rain is just absolutely drenching everybody. Oh, this is this is horrible. Back in my 
seat. Rain has almost stopped 20 minutes in, and still nothing, nothing. The land and he's landing was controversially cut in the 2014 tournament. Oh, he has to end it. First half is over, really largely disappointing, and now we got lightning and thunder, so we might see a rain delay. Very unfortunate. It's been all Real Madrid, like about 60-65% of the ball, and they've had the majority of the shots. Couple good saves from Timmy, nothing really big on our side though. One of the youngsters getting a shot deflected. I can't tell who it was, but it was deflected. And Real Madrid get themselves into the lead. Almost now we're in. We finally got ourselves a goal. So back home now, and to be quite honest with you, this probably is the second worst match day experience that I've ever had. Only second to uh, when I went to the Copa America last year, semifinals versus with uh, Chile versus Colombia, where we had ourselves a two and a half hour rain delay. Not just because of the rain, because of the lightning strikes. This one, it does rank up there because of the amount of rain that came in, and to be honest with you, it never really was projected on the weatherman's uh, on the weatherman's forecast. It just kind of formed over the lake and then just dropped on us. Uh, lasted a good 40 minutes, 20 minutes on either side of kickoff. It started out slow and steady, and then it just kept growing and growing and growing. All and it was pretty much the heaviest at kickoff, as you saw in the video earlier. It died out around the 20 minute mark. Uh, and then was intermittent throughout the rest of the match, but it wasn't as bad as well, what it was during kickoff. And it's just, it just wasn't a fun time. Everyone was miserable. There just wasn't a lot of action. Uh, really, Real Madrid should have won this game very handily, uh, with Isco and Asensio just bossing the midfield. Tony Cruz in there as well, just bossing the midfield. They had all the possession. They had all the shots. They just couldn't put it on net. Their finishing was what killed them. Uh, but Real Madrid fortunate to come away with the win in the end over the All-Stars. I feel like it could have been three, four goals for Real Madrid. Whereas the All-Stars, we just kept throwing long ball, long ball, long ball. Kind of like what I've been seeing with the men's national team as of late. But it just, 
uh, didn't work versus Real Madrid. They had the better speed, the better size, the better everything, as you would expect. So that match is done and over with. We focus now on the future, and it's looking honestly more and more likely that I'm not going to be able to make the next home game for the fire, which is this coming Saturday versus New England Revolution. I know I said DC in the last vlog, but it, it was New England. Uh, so I can't make that. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to make that. But to make it up to you guys, the following week will be match day at Columbus, the third and final time we'll be play playing them during the regular season this year, and we'll make it another away day special. So I hope you guys will be ready for that. Tune in for that. But uh, for now, once again, thank you very much for following. It's not a Chicago Fire blog, but it's a vlog nonetheless. And I thank you very much for watching it. Take care. Peace out.